What's up everybody, it's me the guy with the tie and today we're looking at the Super Sentinel Jib Crane made by Skoda. <clears throat> the original, oh well this one says for users in UK, oh well you are aligned to me, there's the Skoda. So the Sentinel, just a simple history, is a steam powered truck. Steam powered automobiles were not a rare thing at this time. Um, the early 1900s, even up to the 20s, you have famous companies like Stanley, which everybody knows about. But a very large portion of mini cars made in the early 1900s were either steam or electric. Uh, go with it as you will. It didn't catch on, obviously, and we all now have petrol-powered vehicles. So, this model is made by Hauler, 1A7 scale. Holler is a very interesting company. They make some excellent model kits for many scales, military, non-military. Um, I can't wait to see what they make next. So let's uh let's crack into this dude. So they make three variants. They make a normal standard truck, this jib crane truck, and the street cleaner version. Um, I think the normal truck and the street cleaner ones are both Skoda variants. While this one is an English variant. Um, the Sentinel design started in England and it was more popular in foreign countries. So that's how that worked out. Uh, okay. So let's start with the uh, instructions. So the main thing that Hauler is famous for, I believe, is for their fine details in brass. And then they moved on to like this. There's their sheet of brass that should come with it. Oop. Instructions. Very simple. Yes, just follow these dang instructions. Very complex. So to get, and there's other vehicles they had out at the time. As you can see, more military variant. Um, but yeah. So inside the box we have, because it'll probably be best seen this way, the brass pieces. And on the opposing side, if seen, we have the decals, which are barely seen. And then this is all the resin bits. I'm going to take these gloves off because it is unnecessary for me to be so hypogenic. Yeah, there's not much to these, but they do come out as a beautiful kit. Here is the end result. So... Uh, let me get my camera to focus. Ooh, using my hand. Ah, Betamax. So the reason why I had a bunch of buildings that I sold on eBay because they weren't what I was going to build, and all the tapes ended up being corrupted. So I had to go buy new Betamax tapes, and it was kind of hard because then we all of a sudden started this great quarantine. So the vehicle, as you can see, is very nicely detailed. Oh, let me get into the light. I'll use my hand. There's its boiler. Beautiful undercarriage details. The face. Ah, yes. And, whoop, the other side. So, as I said in my last video, I, I didn't know what I was going to do because I was going to build a 1970s era layout, but I was given all of these really nice, I'm going to say pre-World War I items. It looks like we can go that way because... It's just too nice. You don't want to give up on, you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You never do. So um, this kit was made by my friend Tom, who is a master builder. I am not good at building with resin or brass. I love wood or plastic. And I love wood more. I'm a carpenter by trade. That's why my layout's going to be as pristine as it can be, because at least there's something I'm good at, and that's carpentry. So, um, but to him, he seemed to have no problem building it, no complaints, was eager to build the, the street cleaner when it finally gets sent, and uh, I think that's all that's got to be said about this beautiful hauler model. Um, I give them a 9 out of 10. They're not even pricey. I believe this kit is like 12 bucks. Th this kit was like 50 bucks, <laughs> you know, and I'd go with this over that. So... With that being said, everybody stay safe, God bless, take care, and I'll catch you all next time.